Hello, today's Bible study comes from <clears throat> John chapter 6, verses 30 through 40, and reads as follows. So they asked him, What sign then will you give that we may see it and believe you? What will you do? Our ancestors ate the manna in the wilderness, as it is written. He gave them bread from heaven to eat. Jesus said to them, Very truly, I tell you, it is not Moses who has given you the bread from heaven, but it is my Father who gives you the true bread from heaven. For the bread of God is the bread that comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. Sir, they said, always give us this bread. Then Jesus declared, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never go hungry, and whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. But as I told you, you have seen me and still you do not believe. All those the Father gives me will come to me, and whoever comes to me I will never drive away. For I have come down from heaven not to do my will, but to do the will of him who sent me. And this is the will of him who sent me, that I shall loose none of all those he has given me. I shall lose none of all those who he has given me, but raise them up at the last day. For my Father's will is that everyone who looks to the Son and believes in him shall have eternal life, and I will raise them up at the last day. Right here, they asked another question to Jesus. What sign will you give that we may see it and believe you? We always ask for these signs and everything. And he says, what will you do? Our ancestors ate the manna of the wilderness, it as it is written. He gave them bread from heaven to eat. Now they're, they're saying they need something to see. And Jesus is already talking to them about the bread of life. But they're looking for something. They need a visual once again, we need that visual. And this is a faith walk. And Jesus said to them, Very truly I tell you, it is not Moses who had given you the bread from heaven. It wasn't. That didn't come from Moses. It wasn't Moses who gave it to you. And the other thing I left out is the, the crowd, they were, they were looking at Jesus for a lot of things. You heard a lot of things, and they saw a lot of miraculous things that Jesus was doing. But their faith was based on seeing it again. I want you to realize this. Their, their faith was based on continually seeing it. It was not based on just having the faith. They, they, they needed to see it. And... And they also wanted to eat again. They was hungry again. <laughs> I hate to say that. Uh, and they they were messing around by not believing. And then they spoke to how their fathers, their fathers ate the man in the desert. And, you know, they were trying to get Jesus to give them manna or to feed them again. And they were trying to manipulate this. In their, in their way of speaking to him. But, Jesus lets them know that the word of God and eternal life comes from him. And this is what they need. This is the spiritual bread that they need. And you need to eat of this bread. You need to eat of it like you eat your food. And then he says, I am the bread that comes down from heaven. And Jesus, when it says, for the bread of God is he who comes down from heaven, that is Jesus. So he is the bread of life. And Jesus was trying to to make them think past manly stuff, past this physical being, this seeing of the world that they see it in, that we all see it in, and get to their spirits. And he understood, and they understood that the physical bread was for their earthly body. But they didn't understand that the spiritual bread, which was more 
had more power, lasted longer, they didn't see it right away. So they asked Jesus to give them the bread always. And who know? I don't know if they were hungry or not, because I still don't see where they were perceiving what Jesus said. So they still were looking for this earthly material, this tangible bread that Jesus had given them a little while back when he fed the 5,000. But this food can't answer your problems. This food can't get you in the glory. And Jesus is still trying to get them to see the spiritual. Lord, give us this bread always. Hmm. This was saying, I ain't believing you yet. I'm still in this physical mindset of bread. I'm still looking for the physical thing. I'm not on that spiritual thing yet. So what does Jesus say? He says, I am the bread of life. Jesus was trying to motivate them and get them to stop looking so much at the natural and look into the spiritual. They needed to have faith in Jesus. They needed to have confidence and leave this earthly material possession of even this food of bread alone. And then he tells you, he who comes to me shall never hunger. Jesus just explained that when you come to him or when he receives or when you receive Jesus and have faith and believe in him, he will be the only one that can satisfy your spiritual needs, your hunger. And this meant that you needed to come to him if you needed to be satisfied, and we all need to. And he says, all that the Father gives me will come to me. And the one who comes to me, I will by no means cast out. Whew. Jesus was just making it simple, plain, and clear. Coming to Jesus begins with the Father, and he will receive all who come to him. All the Father gives me, like I said, Everything belongs to Jesus. And he says, I will by no means cast out. <sighs> Jesus is not casting out anybody who comes to him. He will welcome you and he will receive you kindly. And he will feed you and nourish you. He will protect you. And he will be the one that you worship and give praise to if you come to him. And then he just tells you in short, not to do my own will, but the will of him who sent me. All he's saying is, I'm going to always do my father's will. And he said this before. He always told us that he was going to do his father's will. It was never his will. And then he says, all he has given me, I should lose nothing. And this tells you why you should go to him, because he won't lose you. All who are going to the Father and come to him, he will protect. He is the good shepherd. He is the one that provides. Everyone who sees the Son and believes in him may have everlasting life. This is the destiny of believing in Christ. This is what will happen when you follow Christ, and Jesus is telling you, this is it. This is what you get. Why aren't we going to the spiritual bread? Amen.